All right, this is the cabinet. It's on casters. I'll just show you the exterior. Nice and solid. Um, I went with a solid um, <clears throat> siding. The other side's fabric. It keeps it lightweight, but it also keeps it solid on the outside. Um, so a couple of things. I'm going to show you how to take it apart, and then you just reverse the process in order to put it back together. First to notice is the, the fake, which is up underneath here. You'll see that this fake will pull down. Now what you'll want to do to perform this is you'll want to starch this. So you'll take some spray starch with a um, iron and you want to starch this. Not heavily, but starch it. It'll just help get some of the, you know, the play out of it. It's on a roller. It goes all the way down to the ground and it'll stay there just like a, a shade. Um, you can actually pull it down far enough where the, the individual that you're making appear actually can put his feet on the edge, but it's not necessary. All right, so when it's pulled down, what you'll do is after you show it empty and then close this, that instant that that's that uh, closed, the individual will grab the sides here. And it'll make some noise. Now that was really tight. It doesn't have to be that tight. But you notice it'll roll all the way up. Um, and then that individual then can step out. So that's basically the general idea. Um, in order to take this apart, what you will do is this was this is Velcro. And you'll actually just remove the Velcro. And that's one part. And then you'll take this off. And these are just kind of flags. Now you'll notice down here that there's two pieces of Velcro. There's one Velcro that attaches this to the inside of the wood, and then there's another piece of Velcro on the curtain that attaches on the back side. And that's just to keep it against here, so when you open it and close it, you're not going to pull it all the way open on that side. So these will get folded up, obviously, um, for packing it up. All right. Then the curtain rod itself is um, just simply, there's a holder on this side and then there's a little lip on this side. So the, this curtain rod comes off very easily. Then this can get folded up and put back on. Okay. And then this can be just lifted out of here and pulled down. And again, this is what you'll want to uh, iron and use some spray starch just to get it to a little more stiffness to it. Okay, there's that. And then basically you have the deconstruction of the cabinet. So we'll start here by pushing the top open like that. That just sits on the top. It's just the, uh, the black top. Okay. And then once it's open, then it's a series of um, wing nuts. Uh, you'll take the first one off first. So now this has come off and what I would suggest is just put these back on here or you can keep them in a separate bag. I'll probably just keep them in a separate bag for you rather than put them in here because this could scratch things up as you're putting it into, into uh, the car. Okay, so that's this piece. This is the first piece or the last piece you'll go up before you put the other inside pieces in. Okay, and then it's just a series of removing each of these. So I'll start with one side. Once again, these are bolts with wing nuts. It will take a few minutes to um, loosen all of these. Now, what's really important is that when, you, uh, when you're starting to put this thing together, is I'll be marking on the inside of each of these um, from the perspective of being inside the cabinet looking out this will be the right front so this will say RF this will say left front LF and so you'll know that, that anything that's marked goes on top so you don't get one turned the other way and then you'll know where they go in terms of the front or the left or the right side so each of those pieces will be marked okay so now we'll just continue taking these off 
and I'll show you once you get this front piece off and the one of the back pieces off, then that panel can come off. So I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay. All right, so I'm took, I took this piece off first and set that down. And again, you're just going to reverse this. I've also taken the back top of the rear off and the bottom. So now what I can do is pull this. Now, the other thing you don't want to forget is that there's some pin hinges down here. And there's a... That's going to be really tight. So you may need to get a hammer to kind of knock it loose. So there's a pin hinged on the bottom. So when that comes out, this whole thing now will come out. Okay. And then the next step will be to take that support off. And that will be marked rear right and rear left. Again, from the perspective of standing in the cabinet and looking out. Okay. All right. So now, now that the uh, back support is off, what this will do now, this, is, this will fold forward like this all the way down to the front. So these become the panels that you travel with. Um, really light, very stable. Um, a little touch up there, won't even see it because this covers it. And that's going to happen. Um, so each of the panels then will break down like this. And these are light enough where they can be stacked in the back of the vehicle. So that's the basic process. You have four of the uprights, you have your base, and then you have your three panels that are here. Um, I do suggest this is probably a two-person operation because it's impossible to reach around and get the, um, the wing nuts on as you need to. But that's the basic construction. Um, it's on really good casters. 